everybody, G said Chris coming at you. Uh, it's a beautiful September day. It's actually a little warmer than I like it. It's about, supposed to get up to 80. But here in the shade, it's not bad. Or along the, I've been here before, we're along the Namakagan River. And uh, we're going to cook up a little lunch, a little canteen cup Tuesday. We're going to experiment a little bit. I'm, what I'm using is, uh, if you can see here, I'm using a cat food can and I'm using wood pellets. I've kind of just been experimenting to see how uh, how they work, you know, as a fuel alternative. If you were just, you know, uh, put them in a, in a cat food can like this, put a cover on it, and um, I'm using um, uh, charcoal starter, They're the Weber charcoal starter cubes. And uh, we are just, I just put the water on a couple minutes ago. We're going to see how long it takes, how long it it actually gets a, a flame going if it produces any heat. Uh, and what we're cooking is, um, I don't know if you guys have seen these at Walmart, they come out with these new Sam Choice Italiano meals. They have, uh, they have, uh, there's three varieties that I've seen at our Walmart. They have this uh, Alfredo with this like spaghetti, I guess, or trenita pasta with Alfredo sauce. There is a Naki. And there is, um, oh, the fancy rice, like bus or not, um, risotto. And uh, um, they're only a couple bucks a package. And you just more or less boil water, let them soak, and the more it's dehydrated. Okay, these are, there's noodles in here. Sauce packet looks, feels like. Problem with these, can never get open. So, you can see in there, that's all packaged are all in one, it's just these noodles and then the, the powder mix. And you, know, you, you get it to a boil and, uh, and you kind of just let it simmer for a little bit, let it sand, re, more or less rehydrate. And I figured for a couple bucks, I'll try it, and then we'll three the throw. I got some spam single chop up or this mark there's your damn bacon <laughs> I love these little packs but I have learned more or less got to use them in one sitting because they will not last once you open them they mold pretty fast so, and again we're say we're just ah yeah, yes. now here's your bottom a little bit um, just kind of testing out this uh, this combination of uh, Say the, the, these wood pellets, these are just regular um, wood pellets for, for home home use, I guess, for wood burnt or pellet burners, and just one of those little uh, cubes, and uh, more to see if we get a get a water going, a boiling, um, you know, extend extend the uh, the flame out a little bit. Um, we got a flame. There's a flame going. I don't know. No, it's it's getting warm. It's steaming. There's bubbles, so it, it's kind of working. Every time you lift that up, though, it, you lose heat, so best not to. You know, you'll hear it boil when it's ready going, I guess. So we will uh, come back in a few minutes once this is uh, going, and I'll add the noodles and. Say, just uh, you simmer, uncover seven to nine minutes until pasta is tender. Move from heat and serve, you know. So, just wanted something different, something kind of different. Um, like I said, I got the risotto and, and the naki. We've done the naki, I've done naki before. This is a little you know, version, but it's still cheaper than, than uh, store bought, regular store bought. Dehydrated, made, dehydrated meals, and you all know how I love about them. So we will uh, bring it back in a sec after this. We get a boil going. Okay, see you soon. Okay, guys, it's just been just over 20 minutes, and we got a rapid boil going. So it uh, um, it's working. It's working good. I mean, I got a good flame. It's, Rapid boiling, it's hot. 
what we're going to do is we're going to put that up as a wind protector. We're going to take the noodles out first. We're going to add, take the sauce in first. Get that all. Mixed in first. smells really good. Get all that mixed in. As you can see, that, my, that uh, cube is pretty much gone. But uh, the wood, the wood pellets are still going good. I mean, I bet you, I got, I bet you, I will got a good. I got a lot of time left. Oop! Look at all that. Noodles. I have a feeling this is gonna fill my. And we're just gonna I say this is kind of a learning curve here, but Just kind of put it back on. I would have said uh, simmer seven to ten minutes or seven to nine minutes or so. Uncovered. Oh, almost forgot the most important thing. Everything's better with bacon, right? Throw a little bacon in there. Not bacon, pepper. Actually, you could add anything you want to this, spice wise. I think it's gonna be, I wish I had some little, some Parmesan. I forgot my Parmesan packets at home. I think if you, if you really wanted to, <laughs> you could probably, I don't know if you could cook it in this bag or not, but you could definitely, you could most definitely um, repackage it. Just put it in some small Ziplocs itself. Oh, all right, 
otherwise everything's in here so I mean it's pretty much easy cleanup. Take it out of the box, just take this bag with you. You're good to go. And my flame still or still We're just just about an, half an hour since I lit this and those pellets are still I got a good flame down there. Still going good. I mean I'm willing to bet this is gonna go it's gonna be interesting. But I'm willing to bet that they that go another half hour, at least I would think. So I mean I think It's a good good fire extender, I think. Cooking extender, at least. I mean, it gets enough where it's going to boil. Um, see, we're still steaming. You can hear it boiling, cooking on the bottom. Word of the wise, anytime you stir on these little things, hold your pot. Because it would really suck. Here, there we go. Yeah, that pot is that those. I'm impressed. Starting to thicken up. Yeah, I don't think you need to constantly burn it or stir it, but for this cooking application. I think you wanna you wanna keep it stir frequently just so you get get everything mixed around get stuff over the flame but yeah you can see here you can see here okay That's two cups of water in a packet, and it's right. You wouldn't want to go any fuller than that. No, you would not. Oh, she's boiling. She's boiling on the side. Supposed to let it simmer, so you don't want to. Just you want to simmer means a little boil, but yeah, she's thickening up good. turned over. As far as I can tell, nothing scorching on the bottom. Got a good fire down there. I think that's a. I think that's a heck of a. Heck of a deal. I mean, you can get. I'm willing to bet if you did a regular. This is just a large cat food can, but. They make the plastic top, you can, covers you can put over it, but if you put, filled that up, what I put it was, I put the, cube, the cubes in the, down first, because what it, what, it is, what it happens is these 
pellets are kind of hard to get going. But once they get going, they go, they light and go pretty well. It's just a matter of getting them, getting them started and going. So if you use that pellet, that those cat, those starting cubes, and I'm sure you could use an SP cube. I just think that the charcoal cubes are less expensive. That's the best way to put it. And uh, you know, could you get multiple cooks off of it? Maybe not, but if you got a big pot of, that'll be my next experiment. We'll do it. We'll do it with a bigger. We'll do it with a bigger pot. See how long on a bigger pot with one of these with a can like that. See how how it works. You know, for a regular, if you know, for a packaged meal, I, it'd work great. You know, you know, get a big billy pot. I think it'd work. going on just over 35 minutes and she's still going good give it the old taste test oh that is <laughs> that is pretty that tastes pretty dang pretty dang good The directions on the box are <laughs> that's for stove cooking, so seven to seven seven to nine if you, here I'm saying you know you need a one, but it's thickening up really good. And I think it says oh, it's thickened, so you can if you, once you take it off that the heat source. That sauce is going to thicken. Pretty good. I mean, it's thickening up well, though. You know what? This is going to be just for those who are interested. Uh, serving says two per container. Serving size half a package makes one cup prepared. So if you eat a, so their sodium for the whole package it's 100, <laughs> 1450 milligrams of uh, sodium. So yeah, that's sodium. It's salt enriched. But it says do not. It says right do not add salt to the water, unsalted water. And there you go. Have it. You don't need any. You don't need none. Well, you know what? I think my I kind of put that down there. I think my flame. We still got a flame. I think if you that helps. You get a little windbreak. That helps. That. So you got there's good coals. There are embers on those coals. I think now we're gonna get a lot of smoke because my flame is gone. So, you get a good, a good 35 minutes, I think. You know, if you were to add another cube in there while you're cooking, or you know, needed to keep.
keep that there's not there's still plenty of heat there you, you're not gonna so all right here we go here's the taste test and warning contents in cup might be warm <laughs> That thickened up really good this time. Oh, let's give her a taste. I think you could call this maybe, I don't know, I'm not Italian, but this is called Carbana. I think Carbana has eggs in it. She's hot. That's good. It really is. That is pretty dang. That is pretty dang tasty. For sure. Like I say, I found all those all these meals again. They're with the packaged next to the nor nor noodles and stuff like that. Our Walmart. It's a small one, so it only has three. Like I say, there was a risotto and a naki in this one. Like I said they're only like two fifty three dollars I think. And the Best Buy date used by. Like I said I bought this about a month ago. Is um, October of next year. And you could easily. I mean there's nothing to go bad, so you could use use, use it. A, year later, two years later. Still hot. <laughs> so, I'm hungry. Cool off, damn it. So, all right folks, well, there you have it. There is my little test. I think these, these little wood pellets, I mean, you can get, well, around these parts, you can get a 50 pound bag for under 10 bucks. Or cheap or not, seven bucks depending you know you want sale um, trick is getting them going but if you had a uh, yeah, we want a boxed over something it'd be an interesting trick I don't have one I'll, I do have my um, a hobo stove I mean I'll try that or my uh, in homemade gasification stove I have tried it in that and it did not work well but that was not did not use the fuel tablets so I think that is the that is the key you, see, you need something that's gonna get light them and then once they go burn down but and I don't know no we'll see so okay till next time thanks for stopping by I do appreciate it we will uh, catch you next time I'm repeating myself I know shut up Chris <laughs> so all right guys till next time keep her cheesy Get outside. <laughs>